now stood Eliza on the wood crowned height, or Menden's plain, spectators of the fight, sought, with bold eye, amid the bloody strife, her dearer self, the partner of her life, from hill to hill the rushing host pursued, and viewed his banner, or believed she viewed pleased with a distant roar, with quicker tread, fast by the hand, one lisping boy she led, and one fair girl, amid the loud alarm, slept on her kerchief, cradled on her arm while round her brows bright beams of honor dart, and love's warm eddies circle round her heart near and more near the intrepid beauty pressed, saw, through the driving smoke, his dancing crest, heard the exulting shout, they run, they run. He's safe. She cried, he's safe, the battle's won. A ball now hisses through the airy tides, some fury wings it, and some demon guides, parts the fine locks, her graceful head that deck, wounds her fairer, and sinks into her neck, the red stream, issuing from her azure veins, dyes her white veil, her ivory bosom stains on me. She cried, and sinking on the ground, kissed her dear babes, regardless of the wound, oh, cease not yet to beat, thou vital urn wait, gushing life, oh, wait my love's return. Horse barks the wolf, the vulture screams from far, the angel pity shuns the walks of war, oh spare, ye war hounds, spare their tender age. On me, on me, she cried, exhaust your rage. Then, with weak arms, her weeping babes caressed, and, sighing, hid them in her blood-stained vest from tent to tent the impatient warrior flies, fear in his heart, and frenzy in his eyes, Eliza's name along the camp he calls, Eliza echoes the murmuring gloom his footsteps tread, or groaning heaps, the dying and the dead, vault o'er the plain, and in the tangled wood low, dead Eliza, weltering in her blood soon hears his listening son the welcome sounds, with open arms and sparkling eyes, he bounds speak low, he cries, and gives his little hand mamma's asleep upon the dew-cold sand, alas, we both with cold and hunger quake why do you weep, mamma will soon awake dot she'll wake no more. The hopeless mourner cried, upturned his eyes, and clasped his hands, and sighed, stretched on the ground a while entranced he lay, and pressed warm kisses on the lifeless clay, he then upsprang, with wild convulsive start, and all the father kindled in his heart, O oh heaven! He cried, my first rash thou forgive these bind to earth, for these I pray to live. Round his chill babes he wrapped his crimson vest, and clasped them sobbing to his aching breast.